Hello, welcome, YouTubers. <clears throat> Today, we're going to do a, discuss a tactic called, uh, military tactic actually, called interlocking sector or sectors of fire. Generally, this is given to squads for a defensive position, generally, but not always. <clears throat> Some of you military officers and NCOs probably already realize and, and understand <clears throat> interlocking sectors of fire. But this is really good for quite a few of our war games. It can still be used for this. Uh, I'm using X's to represent. <clears throat> move my coffee here. Hi. Using X's to represent the good guys, the circles representing the bad guys. <clears throat> now, well, I'm going to do this from a point of view of Space Marines. Now, Space Marines are full range is 24 inches with our bolters. <clears throat> 12 inches gives us what we call a double tap or a rapid fire. Now, in order to actually do this, an actual sector of fire is a range. And it's generally in a roughly triangular shape. And I'll use this one here, for instance. Okay, this squad here has this full range. Okay, the one next to it is going to have this one. <clears throat> right here, this, where it intersects at, is your interlocking sector of fire. To be a space marine and get full effect of this, we need to be within 12 inches out here to our enemy. so we get full effect of our bolters. That would mean that these two units have to be within six inches of each other to properly do this. This is a good tactic if you can get the, your opponent to fall into this trap. It's more of a trap than anything else. Because what we're going to do is try to get these guys within close to our 12 inches for them to fire. Now, what happens if this unit is over here? The bad guy is here. B for bad guy, right? And this unit can't, this unit can reach from within roughly 12 inches here. Well, my effective range is still 24. This unit here can still reach over here. It'll be closer to 24 inches. So, what you need to do is make sure your units are within six inches of each other for this to properly work. If you have any comments, questions, post them down below. Let me know. Um, if you need me to go more into detail on this, I'll be more than happy to. Uh, once again, this is Chuck, and I'll see you guys later.